Good morning and happy Sunday, everybody. Pinpoint Weather 12 meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. I hope you guys are having a great start to your day. Overall, it's pretty quiet out there. We're still dealing with clear conditions throughout most of our area, but we are going to be seeing a cold front move through later on this evening. If we take a wider look out, you can see these showers kind of stretching along the U.S.-Canadian border. That's along a cold front. It's going to be moving through our area later on this evening. Low temperatures overnight last night really dropped down into the 60s, so a much more mild start to your Sunday than what we saw for your Saturday. It was a bit chilly out there this time yesterday morning, but still nice overall. As we head through the afternoon, it's actually going to be a really great day out there. We're going to be seeing lots of sunshine, a couple of increasing clouds throughout the afternoon, but the bulk of your Sunday is going to be nice. We're going to be back up towards around 80 degrees, a nice sunny afternoon, but it's during the late evening and into the overnight hours that we're tracking a chance for a couple of showers and thunderstorms, so not completely dry for the next 24 hours. If we check out that hour by hour forecast, you can see that overnight we see some showers moving through first in the early evening and then during the overnight hours. Good news is that by early Monday morning, we do start to clear out and then we're seeing beautiful clear skies for most of your Monday. So that best chance for rain is really just during the overnight hours. And then we already start to see a great start to your work week. Checking out that three day forecast again today, we're back up towards about 80 degrees, a couple of evening storms after a really nice afternoon. Monday, we start to see uh, those showers taper off during the second half of your morning, followed by a nice afternoon as well. Tuesday, a little bit cooler, partly sunny. All in all, not too bad. Head over to WPRI.com for your full seven-day forecast.